can't even let my camera battery charge before you hoes get online and do some dumb shit again that will have me about to drag y'all ass for fail. I'm the librarian. I'm the librarian. And, I and I came to read. To read. Before we get into anything, I want to let you guys know that on July the 1st, I will be in Atlanta at the Hangout ATL. The, all the stuff will be on all my social media. This uh, flyer will be on my social media as well, so you can look at the address and the time and stuff like that. I will be there. We will be having a panel discussion. Justin and I and all of the distinguished members of the panel will be having a discussion about sex, sexuality, and sexual health and all that stuff. We want you guys to come out, so if you are anywhere near the Atlanta area, uh, July 1st, go on and stop by we are going to have a key key for our live okay i am a content creator not just a youtuber that means that we have some other shit popping if you go to fortheculturepodcast.com you will be able to listen to the episode that we just put up recently this week entitled crazy in love at first night and we did an interview with kyle price one of the lead actors in love at first night is a sickening ass lgbt web series this web series will be back on june the 30th for their season two premiere i want you hosts to get shook because uh if you haven't watched season one go ahead and watch season one season two will also be sickening i am ready for it so if you want to hear some insightful thoughts on success and sexuality and what it means to be a gay black man in this world you can go on over as i said to for the culture podcast.com and listen to the latest episode and get your life also the girls who are patrons know that patreon.com slash adrian expression is lit as fuck so if you want to go ahead and get exclusives and uh, first access the content and know when i'm going on live stream and shit like that ahead of time you need to go ahead and sign up on patreon.com slash expression. It is what it is. Let's get, let's keep this shit moving. I'm giving you hosts all types of, uh, king of the north. You know, I'm giving you Jon Snow type of tease with this fur on, bitch. It might have uh, been from the clearance rack, but bitch, I still call it a fur. Probably is better off being used as a, uh, bathroom rug, but sweetheart, I'm, bitch, I'm pooching around like Jon Snow, sweetheart. All I'm missing is a motherfucking sword, bitch. Let me, hold on. Now, bitch, I don't have no real swords, but bitch, I'm just, I'm chopping you hoes up. You see what I'm saying? I'm chopping white supremacy up. Yeah, yeah, bitch. Ooh, yeah, bitch. Yes, I am John, bitch. You hoes can call me. Bitch, you hoes can. Bitch, you hoes can call me John Snow, bitch, because I'm chopping you white walkers up. Bitch, you hear what I'm saying? I'm chopping you white walkers up. Girl, let me tell you something. Game of Thrones came out recently. Damn, this sword about to break, bitch. How old are these goddamn knives? Bitch, you can tell I don't be eating meat, bitch. These swords are barely used, ho. Uh, but let me tell you something. Uh, Game of Thrones came out with this new motherfucking trailer, bitch. I got my life, ho. Drogon is big as fuck. As I told you, hoes, if Drogon dies, I'm going to cry because that's my child. Daenerys is out here fucking you hoes up. Cersei's about to become the mad queen on you hoes. What the fuck else is going on, bitch? What the fuck else is going on? Bitch, we have a lesbian moment that I think I want to get my life. Grey Worm is still finding hell with my son, Day. They're going to, bitch, I don't know what the hell's going to happen because he's unsullied, but sweetheart, she going to be, uh, right. Grey Worm makes me want to ride the beat, bitch, yes, man. Bitch, but Sunday going to be singing in multiple languages on your ass. But yeah, I did want to dress up like I'm from Westeros because I wanted to let you hoes know that bitch, I will be reviewing Game of Thrones when she comes back. So I don't know what you have to do. I don't know, as I said in my live stream, I don't know if you have to catch up. I don't know if you have to, like catch up, mustard, type of tease. I don't know if you have to watch season one through season goddamn six at this point, but you need to be prepared for season seven. You prepared to be shook, bitch, because I will be reviewing each and every episode and you know it's gonna be motherfucking lit. You know it's gonna be lit. What's Game of Thrones without Adrian? expression goddamn commentary bitch sit your ass down bitch go ahead and get information bitch the baguette let's start out with a couple of light things before we get into the meat and potatoes of what's going on Tell the girl, girl i don't know where to begin with this bitch let me tell you how this racist ass white motherfucker done brought her kid bitch i saw it on a headline on a news headline sweetie she brought her kid into i think it was the emergency room or the hospital or something like that Girl, she brought her kid in, girl, and her, her kid was having heart problems, I think, or some shit. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. But at the end of the day, the girls were trying to help her ass out, right? The doctors were trying to help her kid out, right? And the mother gonna say, no, I want a white doctor. Bitch, I would've been like, all right, girl. Hello? Is this Pizza Hut? Okay, hello? Bitch, because you, you ain't about to stress me out. I'm trying to help your child. I'm trying to help your child. And if you're talking about you want some type of white doctor to help your ass out, and a white doctor's, a white doctor's not gonna be, you want a white doctor, and the white doctor's not inside, you guess what? The white doctor is not gonna be able to help your ass out. Your kid's gonna be, bitch, I'm not talking about 
sleeping. I'm not talking about a coma. I'm talking about death, bitch. Make death do us part type of tease. Your kid's going to be in the forever sleep. I'm talking about sleeping beauty when nobody wake her ass. I'm not gonna help your racist ass out. Let me tell you something. My mother, uh, in one of her many professions, she was a physician assistant at one point. And girl, they used to shade her ass. Oh, she said, oh, well, you're, can I have somebody else? Girl, you can't. Go ahead and find somebody else. In the meantime, your ass, that medical situation that you're going through, sweetheart, that medical thing that's going through your goddamn face, girl, it's gonna fuck you up. So would you rather me, my black ass, help you out? Or you wanna wait a couple of hours for the doctor so you drop, drop motherfucking dead hoe? What would you prefer, bitch? And then I saw this other report of somebody talking about, well, girl, I got stabbed the fuck up. I'm pro-Trump, I'm pro-Trump, but I don't have any health insurance. I, I mean, I don't, what, what do you want me to say, sis? What do you want me to say? I'm not pressed about that shit. You hoes were going up, bitch. And it was another headline talking about, oh, well, girl, we're Kansas farmers and we're trying to contact Trump because we need more Mexicans on our properties to help us work. Girl, but I thought y'all were trying to build a wall. I thought you were trying to build a wall to keep these hoes out, bitch. But now all of a sudden you want Trump to help your ass figure out how to get more Mexican workers into your goddamn farm so you can pay them cents on a goddamn dollar so you can continue to get some type of profit, girl. You hoes are trash, and we've been trying to tell your ass that now, and these repercussions are hitting y'all ass like Donkey Kong, bitch, and you have no idea what to do about it. I am going to watch as everything crumbles, bitch, and I'll be here right like this, bitch. As I said before, bitch, where's my goddamn microphone, ho? I'll be right here, my Xfinity remote, bitch. I'll be right here as everything crumbles with you racist ass motherfuckers trying some dumb shit like we told we warned y'all ass this shit is not good. I'll be right here reporting live. Reporting live! Ah, uh, how's that racism working out for you, sis? Oh, you too, girl, what's the tea, bitch? Oh, you need more Mexican workers? I thought you didn't like that ass. Oh, you like them now? Too late, girl. Build that motherfucking wall. Damn, I'm really saying your cars on you hoes right now, bitch. Woo, I'm getting worked the fuck up. Speaking about the work getting worked the fuck up, you hoes worked me the fuck up when y'all released this trash ass dash cam footage of the Philando case. I'm sick and tired of everything. Even when the little kid, the girl, his daughter was just like, girl, I don't want you to get shooting. I don't want you to get shot. Like, this shit really pulled on my heartstrings, but it also pulled on my Daenerys strings because I'm about to get on my dragon and burn you hoes up right the fuck now. Let me tell you something. I asked a question on Twitter. I was like, you know, people who work in the military, I feel like they have to take real precautions when they fire their goddamn gun. I feel like they have to write pages and pages of reports off of, like, damn near every bullet that comes out of their shit. I feel like their their thing is like, don't fire unless you're fired upon. And I was like, somebody from the military, let me know if I'm correct about what I'm saying. And somebody, I forget his name on Twitter. He's the liberal veteran, I think his name on Twitter. And then he was like, yeah, girl, we have to account for everything in the military. Even the blanks you have to account for. Like, you are held to strict standards. And for me, I'm, I'm really not understanding why when the US government is firing on other people, there are strict standards, there's strict rules of engagement. They're firing on other uh, countries. But when it comes to you emptying your weapon, on a civilian, these rules of engagement seem not to be there. But someone help me the fuck out, okay? Philando said, girl, I do have a gun to goddamn car. I do have a permit, girl. And according to laws, he wasn't even required to tell a police officer that he had shit in his car. So he was just like, girl, I'm letting you know now, this is what I have in the car. Girl, he was reaching for his license and he got shut the fuck up. These hoes talk about, oh, well, girl, the car smell like marijuana, bitch. Y'all sons, cars, and homes, and dorms smell like marijuana, bitch. Matter of fact, it's like, it's, that's not baby powder on his motherfucking college dorm desk, bitch. That's coke. You hoes are on Wall Street snorting up coke trying to use marijuana as an excuse to make us feel like, oh, girl, we deserved it. Sit your ass down. Bitches are over here talking about, oh my God, he was scared fear for his life. I saw some stories about some shit in the military. They had to keep asking, bitch, can we engage? Can we engage? A bullet flew past somebody's face from the enemy and them hoes said, bitch, still don't engage. And they still couldn't fire back, bitch. These are the rules of engagement type of tease. I don't understand if you hold, you hold know what you're signing up for when it comes to being a policeman. Why the fuck are you so easily shaken, bitch? If a feather came across your goddamn ears, it's like you hoes would try to shoot that motherfucker too, bitch. And in the case of Charlena Lyles, I heard that you hoes came to the uh, motherfucking scene without being properly prepared. I heard that your hoes were talking to each other, talking about tase her, tase her. And then the other police officer talking about, I don't have my taser. So bitch, somebody died because your ass came to the scene unprepared? Oh, bitch. I'm sick of these trash ass verdicts. I'm sick of you hoes jumping to conclusions. I'm sick of you hoes claiming that you have all the training and preparation in the fucking world. But when somebody's hair falls out of place, y'all hoes want to get to blowing their faces off. I'm sick of it.
Get y'all shit together. So Christopher Milan had his peen out on the cover of paper. Oh, I almost said the cover. Wow, they didn't have your ass on the cover. I'm sure they had to, we had to flip a few pages back to get to your black ass. But yeah, Christopher Milan had his dick out in paper magazine. Now, I don't mind people having their dicks out. What the fuck you talking about? I'm gay as hell, bitch. I love when a dick is out. I, matter of fact, I appreciate a dick. I would like to see more dicks out in magazines. Get me a couple dicks, I'm gay. But some of you girls were going up like he did something groundbreaking, okay? You have to think about the fact that there are levels to this shit. In the world of media, it's a give and take type of thing. So if you're gonna allow a paper magazine to use you like that, you need to use them back. The paper magazine used your ass for clicks because your dick was hanging out. I certainly did click because that dick looked like a scrumptious ass meal. It is what it is. But if you're going to allow a paper magazine to use you like that, you need to use that ass back. You need to be able to say something. You need to be able to do something. You need to be able to catch their attention with this interview that you're able to give. Now, when I scrolled down to this interview, you weren't saying shit. It was full of air, just like some of these social media faves that y'all love to watch on here. Not saying shit, not doing shit, and have no type of talent. Just filling up the pages with a bunch of nothing, just so that he could have these pictures circulating. Now, sweetheart, if you wanted to have those pictures circulating, you should have just put them on Twitter and had at it, girl. I'm all about it. But for some of these girls to act like you, it was just some groundbreaking type of thing. Oh, if Kim Kardashian can do it, I can do it. Kim Kardashian is as much I drag her and as much as she needs to be dragged, especially for this trash ass blackface type of shit that's going on. Not sure what's going on in that direction, not gonna talk about her ass. But as much as she needs to be dragged, Kim Kardashian has a brand. So even if she gets her ass up there all naked as hell, she can tell your ass, okay, girl, go buy this product. And same for Rihanna. If she decides that she wants to show you this body shit that she got, that's cute. Cause she can tell you, bitch, I got a whole brand over here. I got music, I got fashion coming out, bitch. Y'all hoes can go buy. You, however, allowed yourself to be plastered on somebody in the back of somebody's magazine and still had no nothing to show for it. The girls acted like you said some deep, profound shit in your interview. It did not happen. And that's all I'm saying. Gay boys and girls, if you have a brand and if you know you're that girl, Make sure that you can make some fucking coin. Make sure that you can have something to say anytime you're featured on someone else's platform. Because a lot of times, and that's why I'm so hard, is a lot of times, especially people of color, gay men, they are oftentimes used for these platforms and they get nothing in return. So make sure all, all this finessing and finagling y'all asses are doing, make sure that you have established something or you are establishing something and you stand for something that you can put in the interview. People get to know who you are. So in turn, you get something out of it as much as Paper Magazine has gotten clicks out of having your body in their magazine. That's all I'm saying. Breaking news. Senate Republicans unveil the health care bill which cuts Medicaid and slashes the taxes for the wealthy. Now let's get into this shit. We already knew what the tea was. We already knew what was going on. It was just sad, as I said in my previous video, that the Democrats had to sit up there and try to hold the goddamn floor for the whole night just to take a peek at this shit. When I tell you when Democrats got a hold of this goddamn bill day, we're taking pictures and screenshots, putting this shit up, creating threads on Twitter, talking about how it's trash. And what the Trump supporters don't realize is that they will also be getting fucked over as well. 24 million people out of goddamn healthcare on top of the already millions of people who do not have access to it. It is trash. It is not an improvement of the Obamacare bill. It is gutting all the shits out, all the services that a lot of people need. I'm talking about these cuts are coming at the expense of people with disabilities, elderly people, and the middle class. I'm telling you now. There are all types of agencies that help with maternity care. We already know that they're trashing HIV and AIDS research type of shit and care. So it's like, in the end, who are you protecting? I'm telling you, these cuts, they have been made so that the wealthy can get a tax break. Now, instead of finding a way to compromise with a bit of sense, these hoes just decided, you know what, fuck poor people, fuck the middle class, we're just gonna make sure the wealthy are okay and they already can pay for their own healthcare out of pocket. So it doesn't even make any sense. I'm so t sick and tired of Donald Trump's tangerine shaped head ass. It's just, it doesn't make any sense for his uh, sliced cantaloupe built ass to be out here speaking when he doesn't even do that on a second grade level. Senate GOP approves of Viagra but wants to defund Planned Parenthood. So we have to pay for y'all old geezers dicks to be artificially on hard, but when a person is trying to make sure that they have access to maternity motherfucking care, when people want to get sexual health screenings and shit like that, oh girl, we can't pay for that shit. If y'all hope, matter of fact, maybe somebody needs to come around like with a weed whacker or some shit and just chop y'all peens off so that y'all don't have have to use this Viagra, we can take the money that would have been going into Viagra and put it back into uh, things that actually fucking matter. If y'all hoes didn't use y'all dicks, some of y'all hoes honestly don't need to get y'all dicks hard with y'all bigoted ass, rapist ass mindsets. You see what I'm saying? Get out of here with that bullshit. And Donald Trump, I caught your bluff. 
I caught your blah. I knew that your ass didn't have those goddamn tapes, and you went onto Twitter to say that you didn't even record this shit. You didn't make tapes of fucking Comey. So I don't, I, bitch, that's why your ass was so willing to jump up. Oh yeah, I'll testify 100%. I'm willing to testify. Of course you're willing to fucking testify because it'll be just he said, she said, bitch, if there are no goddamn tapes. Bitch, I knew. You think you're fooling me, girl? The only people you're fooling are old ass racist hoes who have slipped help by phone and can't get up. And bitch, they won't be able to be picked up. They won't be able to uh, get back on their two feet because they don't have no health insurance. Those are the people you're fooling, bitch. You're not fooling me, girl. You're not fooling me, girl. It's really upsetting that we have to try and force people to care about the people that they were elected to protect. I'm not saying that everybody will have the same political views. I'm not saying that at all. And I know people like their money. They want to keep hold on to what they earned. I understand all of that. But bitch, we can't even work on coming up with a compromise. Y'all can't even try and say, okay, girl, I know this may be uncomfortable, but damn, these are human fucking beings. Let's fucking help their asses out if they don't have access to certain things. And y'all defense for some of that shit is the fact that people need to pick themselves up by their bootstraps when you didn't even do that shit. Bitches like you had a small loan of a million dollars. Bitch, I can't even get a small loan of 50 damn dollars. Y'all have been born into these positions and think that everybody else should have been born in that shit as well as if people had control over that shit in the first As I said, yes, I understand their differences in opinion and politics and shit like that, but bitch, damn, they're humans. Damn! I saw in some Senate building, I think, people with disabilities were literally protesting and y'all had the police lift up people out of their fucking wheelchairs while they were protesting. You had these policemen lift up these fucking people with disabilities out of their fucking wheelchairs and get them out of here. Get them out of here. That is ridiculous, but it also is very representative of what the GOP is fucking doing to the nation, bitch. They don't give a fuck about that shit. They don't give a fuck about you hoes, the hoes with disability, elderly hoes, they don't give a fuck about you middle class hoes, they don't give a fuck about you black assholes, you nigger assholes, they don't give a fuck about you Mexican assholes, you uh, Latino assholes, they don't give a fuck about you Muslim assholes, bitch. Damn, what the fuck do you give a fuck about? At this point, I'm just going to tell all of you golden retriever built assholes to go fetch. Go fetch. Go fetch. Go fetch some IQ points, go fetch some reading skills, and go fetch some hair restoration product with your Sahara Desert built ass scalps. Have a good goddamn evening.